Hey everyone, it's Ray1940 here, and we're going to take a look at the new F10 route tool. Now, this came out during the Chinook's um, release in that version of DCS, and it's really nifty to use for uh, multiplayer servers. And I'm going to show you how to use it specifically on WWX and what you're looking for, but you can use this for other servers as well. Now, when you first click into a server and you get to the uh, Choose Coalition screen, uh, you're going to see this icon up in the corner. Now, this is the route tool, and it's basically adding mission editor style waypoints um, to the aircraft before you spawn in. So you can join a coalition. As long as you don't get into the aircraft into the game world, you're still going to be able to manipulate um, the route. So we'll just do something that I like to create for um, WWX. But like I said, you can do this for whatever server you're jumping into. And it works on a lot of different aircraft that have uh, internal navigation systems. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick, okay. Um, so you can use the map just like normal, scroll wheel, zoom in and out. You can click and drag to look at things. So we're going to spawn over at, um, what is this, the oil rig down here, okay. And for WWX, I like to make waypoints for all the key locations that I could potentially go to. Um, and this is important for the Chinook because um, if you're flying the logistics stuff, you want to know where those depots are and you're not trying to um, scurry across the front line on accident or maybe you need to immediately know how to get to the port to go grab stuff or drop stuff off. So with the waypoint tool, um, we're starting at the oil rig. The first one I'll pick here is this box. Now this box, we're on the blue side, so this is going to be a blue port facility. All the supplies from the ships got to go to the port first, and then they get further distributed down to these frontline depots. So there you see we created waypoint one. Now we can name this. I'll just name it port. Okay. Uh, the altitude, you can change that depending on uh, the navigation system in your um, aircraft, if it's important to you. I just leave it as default. Uh, some uh, not too worried about that, but if you're tying it into like a waypoint that you might use for weapons delivery on some other aircraft, I could see you wanting to put a different waypoint altitude. Um, okay, so we've got waypoint one here. Uh, I'll pr drag this. Uh, we can do Lenarca. That's the main airfield for blue here. I'll put two. This is the parking apron for the helicopters, so I'll just put um, Lenarca. Okay. Oops, there's not a... There we go. All right. Um, some of the other points of interest for myself. Uh, I like to keep all these depots listed. So I'll just put D1. D2. D3. D4. Okay. So now I've got the port, the airfield, the depots... Um, another set of waypoints that you could put in, I normally don't do this, you can put in all the uh, enemy way, um, enemy depots so you know where they are in case you want to drop um, uh, mortar squads nearby. You can command them to um, blow up things in range by hitting the M, making a marker on the F-10 map um, labeled M and then they will fire on it if they're within range. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to drop, if you want to place some spots to drop mortars to hit these uh, depots. But um, I don't do that. I will make waypoint markers for points of um, ambushes. So as you can see here, this is the convoy route for red and they, they have two main routes and they split off. So I'm not interested in um, ambushing these convoys on these separate legs. I'm more interested in getting it on one of these main routes because that'll maximize the potential of trucks that have to go to either depot um, versus just sticking on one leg and only getting the trucks that are traveling down that route. So uh, I could just pick somewhere. Somewhere in the mountains would be nice. We can just call that um, enemy convoy or EC1. And I'll pick the other main convoy route. As we said, we want to get it before it splits off so we can maximize our potential to kill the trucks. Uh, call that EC2. All right. And lastly, I will want to have a waypoint for the oil rig. Uh, we'll just call this OR. 
I'm not sure the character lengths or limitations that the Chinook has, but I noticed, I think, if you've got spaces in between the waypoint names, um, it can't handle that, I don't think, and it'll end up displaying as just the lat and long. Um, so if you want to avoid that, just make simple waypoint names that you can remember um, using just a few letters. Uh, so now that you've got all this down, this is great because... Um, you know, this has all the main points of interest and we don't want to keep doing this every time we log into the server so you can actually save it so we'll just call this um, blue side wwx routes okay and let's hit okay there so that's saved and the important thing before you spawn in anywhere is that you've got this clicked on okay if you don't click this on it's going to default to whatever the um, the mission creator has created waypoints for the aircraft that you're spawning into. So this will overwrite that. That's important to know. Um, and this will use all these waypoints that we've plugged in. So we can go ahead and just jump in the game and I'll show you what it looks like in inside the, inside the uh, Chinook. Alright, so we've spawned into the game world now and we're on the oil rig. Um, if you were to just auto start the helicopter, this is kind of what you'd see here. Um, you'd have the flight plan summary page already up and you can see here this is all the waypoints that we use with that route tool it's just automatically loaded in now the one that's highlighted in white that's going to be the active leg that the aircraft has for the nav system at the moment um, if you wanted to or let's say if you were on uh, if you were to manually start this up and maybe you had a different layout of um, pages uh, let's do the HSD on the bottom there. Maybe it's something like that and you couldn't see the flight plan summary. Um, it's basically up at the system T and sys index here and this flight plan summary. So sys index flight plan summary. Click on that and then you'll get it back. And if you want to see it on a full page you can just hit this half slash full button. It changes in between the two and now you've got it there. Okay. Um, the CDU you can also use uh, to look at your flight plan. If you just hit the FPLN button, you can scroll down and you can click through the buttons here with this arrow key going up or down. Um, I don't like using that because you can see it's kind of uh, the, just the visual area is really small when you're flying. It's just easier to look at that in a big list. Um, so let's just say uh, you don't want to go to the port. Maybe you want to go to... We got supplies here at the oil rig. We don't have to necessarily drop them off at the port. It's kind of like the best way to do it, but if we wanted to, we can go directly to one of the depots and drop the supplies off straight from the oil rig that we've picked up here. So um, to do that, you can go to FPP on the bottom here, and we can select whatever depot waypoint that we've put in. So let's just say we want to go to depot 1. Um, now, what I have to do is hit the DIR button here, direct, and then it's going to go and highlight that in white, and that's how you know that you're, that's the active leg. And maybe you want to see this on like an overlay for a map, so on the uh, HSD, we can hit this overlay button and just hit to overlay 1, and up in the top left here, you've got the FPLN button. So once you click that, you'll see the o overlay for the route. Um, if it's highlighted in white, that's the active line, and the magenta is just uh, other some other legs. Um, remember, this is just waypoints that are in the system, so depending on the order that we put them in, I think the oil rig was the last waypoint. Um, so this is probably a leg from one of those uh, enemy convoy routes that we've plugged in coming down to the uh, oil rig here. So this line here is now pointing to the, um, the uh, depot one. Uh, there's some other things you could do here to help you out. Um, if you wanted to, you can turn the overlays off and then you can change this to go 500k or you could zoom in further. Um, if you wanted to see a map where it says off over here, I'll move the cyclic. Where it says off over here, you can click on that and you'll get the map. So we're over the water right now, obviously we're not going to see anything. And uh, as you zoom in, you, t you eventually lose the map. So that's basically it. Uh, you can also do direct waypoints from uh, the CDU type thing here. We can just go ahead and let's just say I'll use the arrow buttons to go down to see the ones I want to go to. Let's just say I want to go from the oil rig 
to one of those convoy ambush points. Well, I can just hit um, the uh, direct button up top here, and then we just pick the waypoint we want to go to. So let's just say EC1 is where we want to go to. So now that's the direct waypoint in the system, and we can verify that and see that on this page here as well. So that also changed over. So that's the direct. And you can see now instead of that magenta line going to the other one, it's now going to the uh, first enemy convoy ambush point. I think the second was the last one we put in before we put in the oil rig, so that makes sense. Um, so that's it. It's, it's kind of a really useful tool. I mean, I just use it for pointing me at other um, locations of interest on the WWX server. But you can, if you have like a custom mission in mind when you're on the server and you say um, you want to do a route that goes around the front lines, you can put down a bunch of waypoints that circumvent the front line and come around the backside of the mountains over on the other side of the enemy territory and fly into um, a, a nice landing zone that's completely safe. You can go ahead and do that. You don't have to do all this kind of stuff, but um, if you're doing logistics runs in the Chinook, I think that this uh, method is probably the best because it points you to all the key points that you probably want to fly to and drop things off or pick things up from. And that's about it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll help you out. And I'll, I'll give, I'll post a link to the uh, F10 route tools guide that ED had published on their, um, on their forums, and that that'll be really useful. So that'll be it for me. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.